If only there was like a blooper reel of you. <laughs> Welcome back to Network Under 40. I am Dara, here to share with you another question from the community today to help you learn how to better network and build relationships. And today that question is super straightforward and it is, what do I say to kickstart a conversation? This one I love just like all of our other questions because it's not always as simple seeming as you would assume. We have conversations all day every day with people in our lives, yet when it comes to being at a networking event or to meeting someone new, we often freeze and we wonder, Here's this stranger, what do I say to them? How do we connect? How do I build a relationship and build rapport with someone in a matter of seconds? And just like anything else, my first piece of advice is take a deep breath. Know again that everyone's here to meet each other and that takes a lot of the intimidation away. So just remind yourself of that. And second, like anything else, throw yourself in. So what if you flub a little bit? Other people are probably gonna appreciate your authenticity in that. But I'd say more than anything, my number one tip for how to better start a conversation is to be genuinely curious. I live a life of curiosity. I think the more you can genuinely want to know about other people and other things, the more interesting things are gonna be for you and the more naturally you're going to be able to engage with other people. So whether it's, hey, where did you get that shirt that's really cool and I'd love to know more about that or that piece of jewelry is super unique and interesting. Sometimes just starting with, Something as simple as the environment or what they're wearing or paying them a compliment can be a really good starting point. Other times it's as simple as, hey, did you see that really cool view and try and kickstart a conversation based on what's happening outside of what you're looking at. In other cases, it's as simple as, what brought you out tonight? Maybe there's something I can do to help you have a better time or get you to feel more comfortable with your experience or to move you closer to your goals, I think is an even better way to do that. I think any time you can avoid the really basic questions of what do you do or how's the weather, I think you're going to succeed and just not be too afraid of it. And oftentimes I think maybe as you're driving or taking the train into an event, consider a couple questions in your head that might be great icebreakers for you. And if you're always leading with curiosity about your conversation partner, you will not fail. One thing to also keep in mind is that you're not going to have chemistry with everyone with whom you have a conversation, and that is absolutely okay. But just know that you ask with sincere curiosity, allow them a chance to talk, ideally more than you do. I think listening is always a better skill in a conversation than talking about yourself. And if it's time to exit, then watch our video on how to exit a conversation gracefully, and hopefully that'll help you ebb and flow from conversation to conversation with grace and ease. Until next time, we look forward to your future questions and to meeting you at one of our events.